What's up, everyone? Mark Lobot at TigerFitness.com. Look, my voice is back just enough to eke out like two or three videos. I'm going to eke one out right now. And this is actually from my Facebook, posted by my good friend, Maria Acosta. Hi, Maria. Anyway, her um, issue I should address is real talk about fitness models and their bullshit scams on detox teas all over Instagram. I've seen it. You know, you have fitness models saying that these detox teas work and this and that. And I'm not here to discuss the validity of detox teas. I personally think they're bullshit. I feel they're diuretics. And I feel that if you're healthy, you drink enough water, your kidneys are working, you don't need diuretics, you don't need to flush your system. Cleanses are stupid. Detox teas are stupid. But I do like liver support. I like things like AI Sports Cycle Support with their Silmarin, with their Milk Thistle, the NAC, all that shit. That's beautiful, right? That's good shit. But touting these detox teas is something that's, you know what, that's to be said. Now, what happens is people gain stature. People gain credibility on the internet. And what they do is they monetize that. And I'm all for that. But a lot of people, through the sheer act of monetizing, they forget that they can't be douchebag liars. And a lot of people don't even know they're douchebag liars. They see something, they buy into the marketing hype, and they promote it. <clears throat> like they know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, I'm not saying they do this, but there's a company online called Shreds. If you ever read their products, like if you ever read their, their labels, you know what? The ingredients aren't exactly something I'd be proud to put my name behind. However, they have big name people promoting their products. Now, the reason I'm okay with Shreds, I've talked to some friends about this, they never once say their products are epic. They don't discuss science. All they do is post really pretty people with really great names and say, here's a picture of my fucking shreds burner. I'm okay with that. They're simply modeling for a brand. You know what? If I got a contract to fucking model Calvin Klein underwear, which by the way, guys, I'm all about the American Eagle. American Eagle, if you're looking for somebody, I wear this shit. But let's say I wear American Eagle underwear and I really like how they feel. They cut my balls just correctly. And Calvin Klein offers me a million dollars to do an ad showing my dick in their underwear. My Robocock. I might do it. You know what? I, even if I don't think they're the greatest underwear, I might do it for the money. And they don't need me to explain why it is. They don't need me to go and say that it's comfortable. All I need to do is put my picture next to these, in these underwear. Well, I need to just put my cock in the underwear, right? So I'm okay with that. And I think what Shreds and other brands are doing is they're simply putting pretty faces to sell mediocre products, which is fine. And if anybody from Shreds would like to fucking debate me on their products and why I think they're shitty, by all means, let's do it. Now, I might be wrong. It could be the greatest formula in the world. But from what I've seen from Shreds, and from other brands just like them who are Instagram pretty people based. You know, obviously MTS Nutrition is the real deal because my ugly ass is promoting it, right? And I don't have a cool name like Mark Muscles. But nonetheless, I mean, here's the deal. I don't find fault with that. I don't. I don't at all. I think Shreds is a fine, I don't think they're deceiving anybody. They just have pretty people taking their products. And I bet you they are probably taking the products. Just because I disagree with the formula doesn't make what they're doing wrong. Hell, some science guys could find that formula epic. It's my opinion. Same with these detox teas. There's a lot of fucking hippies out there that think that these are the greatest things. So by me saying that these fitness models are sellouts based on my opinion of what's good and bad in a product, I think that's a bit arrogant for me to say that my opinion is the only opinion that matters. Some of these people might like the detox teas. However, it's a free market and I'm a libertarian. As a libertarian, my thought to you, Maria, don't buy it. And if your friends ask you about the detox teas, tell them not to buy it because you can easily shut off a marketing scam by not falling for it. And if people get scammed, that's their fault for not being educated consumers. 
It is what it is. If you want to be educated, follow people like myself, you know, who, who, who I, I believe, because it's me, is telling the fucking truth. But if you just go follow someone because their name is Mark Muscles and they say they take a fat burner and you want to be just like them and they have no reason why you should take the fat burner other than the fact they're Mark Muscles, they're pretty and they say cool things, don't fucking take it. Substance over shit. That's what it comes down to. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be launching my gangster brand and launching my pseudonym Mark Muscles next week. Because I don't give a fuck. I'm ripping all you motherfuckers off. And ripping you off. It's not a game.